Hello everyone! In today's video we are going to talk about right-click in WordPress and how to disable it with and without plugins. So let's get started! As we all know, nowadays it's not easy to create unique content, but it's really easy to steal it from others. But what can you do if you are a content creator? How to avoid this kind of situations? In this video tutorial, we'll learn step by step how to disable right-click in WordPress and so protect the content that belongs to you. There are two ways of enabling right-click in WordPress, with and without plugin. First of all, let's learn how to do it with a plugin. One of the best plugins that I would definitely recommend you for enabling right-click is Secure Copy Content Protection plugin. This plugin provides you so many options to manage the content protection process on your website. It also has multiple useful tools to meet all your requirements. By the way, this plugin works on both PC and mobile devices. At first, you just need to install it to your WordPress website and go on the settings. The very first step is general settings. Here is the enable copy protection option, which is the most important option that you must enable. It is some kind of on and off switch of this plugin. Without enabling it, the plugin won't work. Here you can also change the warning text of your plugin. The second tab is Options, and here is the option that we were looking for, Disable right-click. Just turn it on. And also, not only texts are considered to be content, but also images. Protect your images too by enabling this option. You can go down and look through other options and choose the ones that you want to enable. The next tab in settings is styles. In styles, you can change the tooltip style. Tooltip is the warning that pops up on the screen when someone takes actions that you have already disabled. Here you can change the placement of the tooltip, color, font size, background and any other things to fit all your standards. By the way, here are the block content, block IPs, country, page blocker, PayPal and integrations, which are available for pro version of this plugin. And after that, just save changes. First of all, go to the dashboard and find the appearance block in the menu and click on the theme editor from the drop-down. Find the footer PHP in the HTML code. Go down and find the closing body tag and put the blocking code above it. By the way, in the description of this video you will find the link of the article where you can find the blocking code. And that's it, save the changes! If you found this video interesting and useful, then don't forget to put the thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. In order not to miss our other video tutorials, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon! Bye!